I didn't want to be a rock star, and I didn't want to be a movie star. No pictures, please. I want to be a health-based culinary expert, a cook star, and so can you. Hello, my name is Remy, and today on Cook Time, we're going to prep and cook one of my favorite dishes, called bow tie lasagna featuring garlic. Okay, first things first. The number one rule on cook time with Remy is that you always check with a parent or an adult before you start cooking. Next, it's very important to wash your hands before cooking any food. Okay, let's get started. Today, we're making bow tie lasagna featuring garlic. Garlic is one of my favorite foods because it tastes good and it's really good for you. The next thing we need to do is grab our cooking pots, pans, and bowls. So, here's our saute pan, our baking dish, and my spoon. We will also need to have the ingredients used to make this super good one dish meal. We'll need to have ground beef, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, cottage cheese, canned tomatoes, marinara sauce, olive oil, parsley, an onion, fresh basil, an egg, garlic, some bow tie pasta, and of course some salt and pepper. Did you know that the Egyptian slaves built the pyramids on a diet of garlic, water, and bread? Yes! Got some. So now the first thing we're gonna do is saute. So let's get some olive oil in my pan here. A little. There you go. Some onions. Nice crackle there. Some garlic. And also, did you know that there's a restaurant in Beverly Hills, California called The Stinking Rose that actually serves garlic in every single item on their menu? Even ice cream. Pretty crazy. But garlic is really good, so I'd probably understand. Next up, we have our ground beef. Want to get this browned in there. Oh, there we go. Oof. And get that nice and situated in there. Mm, I love the smell of sauteed onions. And the garlic smell, amazing. Okay, so we're gonna let that saute for a little bit. Now, we're gonna go over here to our cottage cheese, we're gonna go ahead and mix an egg, some parsley, our mozzarella, and then we'll mix this up. Get my egg all mixed up in there. Oh, mozzarella takeover. Mix this up real well, so that way it turns a sort of pale yellowish. Now that we've been sauteing our meat and it's turned brown, it's time to add our tomato sauce. So first we have our diced tomatoes. Put that in there. And then we have our marinara sauce. Oh, get all that. All that goodness in there. And then we have our basil. Nice fragrance and good flavor to it. And then we're gonna bring this down. Oh, I see no. Some salt. Some pepper. And then we're gonna bring this down to a simmer. Stir it up a little bit. And then we're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And actually, I have a surprise for you. Uh, voila! We have our bow tie pasta already cooked. And thanks to my galley sink, I have my colander already here. It's basically ready when I am. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into our pot, our baking dish here. Last little bit. Now I'm gonna bring this back to me. And I'm gonna flatten this out a little bit. And 
And now this has been simmering for about 10 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on our pasta. Let's bring this over. Turn this up. Let me get enough to cover it. Not tomato goodness everywhere. Oops, made a little mess. Wow. Oh, uh, all, all the pasta. Next up, we're gonna add our cheese mixture to it. So we're just gonna put this on top. Oh, uh, there you go. Get all of it. <laughs> this is gonna be so good when it's cooked. There you go. And then to top it off, we have some mozzarella. all this in there. Cheesy goodness at its best. And actually, we need some foil. I can use my magic to make foil appear. And then we're gonna put this in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. And then for the last 10 minutes, you're gonna take the foil off and then complete the cooking. So I'm gonna go open the oven. I just had an adult take my lasagna out of the oven for me. And remember, you should always have adult supervision when you're using hot appliances like a stove or an oven. Also, when you're cooking, it's very important to make sure that your ingredient measurements are right. And your ingredients should always be as fresh as possible so your food tastes the best. Remember the cook time rule. You should always include all five food groups whenever making each meal. Cooking is fun, and the food you make should taste good and be healthy for you. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. This is incredible. I love the simplicity of this recipe and the garlic in it. It's not enough to overpower it, but it's just right. And if you need a dish to ward off vampires, this is it. All kids should lead a healthy, active, and nutritious life. And we all play a role educating young people about healthy choices, including the 16 million children at risk of hunger in the US. Join me, Sodexo, and our partner, Share Our Strength, to help raise awareness about the one in five kids at risk of hunger by joining the movement of Generation No Kid Hungry. Thank you for hanging out with me on Cook Time with Jeremy. See you next time when we'll be making kiwi fruit salsa. Yeah, it is. It tis, tisn't. So I just shortened that whole phrase into tisn't. Okay. Everything's in it. Um. What if I just cut my ponytails off? Well, that would be bad. Hi, I'm Chef Remy of Cook Time Drummy. I have a passion for cooking healthy and encouraging kids to have fun in the kitchen. I just finished my first cookbook called Global Cooking for Kids with recipes from around the world. You can get a copy of Global Cooking for Kids at cooktimethermy.com. As a teen entrepreneur, I often get asked how I started my business at such a young age. Well, I'm proud to be a mentor on thrive15.com where you can learn to start your own business. Just log on to thrive15.com, enter the code REMY for a free, yes free, 30-day trial.